Hey everybody, Nick here from Baldwin's Bowtie Garage. I'm here in the shop today with Denim Dan and my buddy Chad Symes working on uh, some of the body work on this thing. Uh, me and the kids just gave it a driveway wash and now we're going to look at uh, taking some of the dirt out of the paint with the clay mitt and then uh, we're kind of going to decide here if we are going to shine it up or keep the patina or what's going on. We'll, we'll bring you along for the ride. Well next, uh, we're going to try and get some of the dirt out of the paint. I've got Chad's uh, clay bar mitt and some of his auto spray detailer. We're going to mist the paint here. We're going to rub straight line motions through the paint and try and pick out any dirt that we can get here. Chad told me I should do this in straight lines and fluid motion, so I'm working my best. He's the real guru here. See what we can pick up. Be careful around the wheel wells, I know. Try and get all that nasty stuff out of here. Oh yeah, it's picking some stuff out here for sure. You can kind of hear it. Previous owner did some spray paint rust repair, and it's a little rougher than the rest of the paint. What do you think, Chad? One body panel at a time and then wipe her down? Yep. All right. You want to make sure to wipe that mitt off too whenever you go over some rough surfaces, just in case you pick up anything. All right. Learning on the job. On the job training here. The paint is very different on the sides of the van uh, versus the rear doors. You can tell that rear doors have a lot, a lot more luster to them uh, than the rest of the vehicle. They must not have seen as much sun. We're going to experiment with uh, what we're going to do to shine this thing up. Uh, we talked about buying some of that Vice Grip Garage Shine Juice. Uh, we might experiment with some other chemicals we got around here. There's been talk of some motor oil. All right. Muff this thing out. Stuff's looking pretty smooth here. I'm guessing the rough mechanic hand test. Yeah, it's quite a bit smoother than when we first tried that. Chad's also got a buffer with him. We're gonna take you through how to shine up the tail lights on this thing as well. We did some interior mods over, over the past week been having some trouble uploading some video I shot in 8K. Uh, we will show you guys some of the some of the curtains we put on the doors as well. Uh, got the thing running good. Put some new brakes on it. Took it on the maiden voyage on our cracked up tires. Don't want to go much farther until I get some new rubber on this thing. good for here I think. We'll bring you guys into the next step in a minute. So we're going to try something out here. Uh, we didn't Google it. We've seen some uh, Derek Shine juice before. Uh, we talked about something we could use to put a little luster over this patina. And I think we're going to try some GM ATF. We picked Dex Dexron 6. Uh, we had some Ford uh, ATF, I think it's F style, and then we had some Mopar to choose from. We figured uh, deck six was the best, so uh, we're gonna give her a go and see what this does to the paint here. It's not falling off yet. It's gonna be sticky, I think. I 
don't know what you have. It's not terrible. It has a luster. The water will run right off. Yeah. There's no blue on my mitt yet. My compression sock mitt out of the thrift store rag bag here. I'm sure it'll pick up and pull dust. Make sure to squirt it all over. Get it on the rims and on the ground. Make a big mess if you're going to do this. Protected here on the hinges, never hurt anything. Start to pick up some color in this thing a little bit. All the little rust chips that are showing. We'll get them a little ATF lube here. I don't know, let's bring the sparkle back. Maybe it's just for trailer queens and show cars. But a little ATF on her before you go camping. Might be a good protectant, I guess. See how it looks after I'm done with this little panel here. Step back and check her out. Ooh, I hit the tire there. Have to change mitts. All right, we'll bring you in for a close up here in a bit. So, in this shot, uh, you can really tell the difference between the ATF and the non-ATF. Uh, we just sprayed the doors here down with Auto Detailer. And we're going to continue this ATF operation. Um, I don't recommend you try this on your vehicle. Uh, it's something that we wanted to try out here. And so far, so good. We'll report back on our experiment. Maybe all the paint's going to fall off next week. I don't know, but we'll see what happens here. Here we are with uh, one door left on the passenger side here and you can kind of see the sheen difference that's for sure we got the light set up over there. Uh, roof's eventually going to get painted white here and then I'm thinking I'm going to try and stay away from the flat white paint on the mirror. Uh, I don't want to discolor it. I do have some touch up paint for that. Uh, we'll get back with you in a minute. So here we got that door shined up. Uh, Chad's got the hood open here and we're going to work our way onto the front of the vehicle. You can kind of see the difference between the fender there and the door. I'm excited to see where this goes. I thought I'd give you one in-shop walk around before we went outside to look at it. Rub the bumpers down too, they showed up kind of cool with the oil. The way it covers the rust, I really like that. Long straight panels here. Then we got the 47 color front end here. Shiny. I think we need to paint that bow tie blue. More front bumper work. Have to find some new headlight assemblies too. I think we're just going to go with modern non-LED ones. Well folks, here she is in her full ATF luster. Um, as you can see, it's definitely put a shine on it. Uh, we don't know how it's going to hold up. 
Don't know if it's going to suck too much dust back into it. I guess you can always wash it off and we could buff the whole thing out and apply some wax as well if we wanted to. But I am pretty happy with this. Again, I don't recommend that you do this to anything you own. But uh, we'll update you on it like as the weeks go by and see how it holds up. Um, I'm going to bring you outside in the sunlight and let you have a full look at it in the sunlight and see how, uh, see how she shines. We'll catch you in a bit. Here it is in some sunlight. Uh, you can see that it's got pretty good reflection. Shined up pretty darn nice. Here's the back. Here's our custom curtains with holders for your cell phone and wallet when you're sleeping on a super fancy bed. Thanks for watching.